associates, scholars, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. So now children, we are starting with our new chapter, chapter number 9, which is air and atmosphere. Yes, so we are going to study about different things which is present in the air and our atmosphere. So let us start. Things to learn. What are we going to learn in this chapter? We are going to learn about components of air. Means the air is made up of how many components that we are going to see. And secondly, atmospheric layer and their uses. So, atmosphere consists of different types of layers so that we are going to see. And the big idea of the chapter is air is an important resource which keeps us alive. Yes, because of air, because of oxygen, we are taking in oxygen and giving our carbon dioxide. Because of this only we are alive. So, air is an important resource for all the living things. Our earth is the only planet known to have life on it due to the presence of air and water on it. So, let us know more about air and its components. So, we know about different planets, but only Earth is the planet on which air and water are found, because of which we can live on Earth. So, now let us see the different components which are present in air. Components of air. Air is a mixture of many gases. Yes, our air is made up of many gases. It consists of almost 78% of nitrogen. Nitrogen is a gas and how many percent of nitrogen is there in the air? 78%. And about 21% of oxygen and the remaining 1% consists of different gases such as carbon dioxide, ozone, argon along with water, vapor and dust particles. Yes, so this is the components of air. So in that the major part is covered by nitrogen which is 78%, oxygen is 21% and the rest 1% is different gases such as carbon dioxide, ozone, argon and also water vapor and the dust particles. Oxygen is needed by plants and animals. Oxygen also supports burning. Nitrogen present in the air controls burning. Yes, so these are different gases and all different gases have different different types of uses. Like oxygen we breathe in. Yes, so it is important for all the plants and animals. In the same way nitrogen is also important. It controls burning. Yes, like oxygen supports burning, like that nitrogen will control the burning. Okay, now this is the diagram which you can see uh, that 78% uh, of the air consists of nitrogen, 21% of the air consists of oxygen and 1% the remaining gases. Okay, moving further, if there was no nitrogen, Small fires could become big ones and would be unstoppable. Yes, so why nitrogen is important? That, okay, once the fire is been burnt, if we burn the fire, we need to stop the fire also. So, because with the help of nitrogen, we can stop the fire. Then, plant absorbs carbon dioxide to prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis. Yes, we have studied about the process of photosynthesis that plants take in carbon dioxide and with the help of carbon dioxide, they can prepare their food. Yes, so plants prepare their food with the help of carbon dioxide. Then argon. Argon is a gas which is present in very small amount and is mainly used in light bulbs and tube lights. Yes, so now we will think what is the use of argon. So, argon is used for lighting up our bulbs. Water is present in air, in the air as water vapor. Yes, we all know that small amount of water is also present in the air which is in the form of water vapor. Now, did you know, did you know addition of smoke, dust, 
ash and gases such as carbon monoxide can make the air dirty and unfit for breathing yes so it is very important that we do not spread any air pollution because of the air pollution the air becomes dirty and it is unfit for us plants animals to breathe in it is indirectly or directly going to affect the health of living beings so we should stop air pollution and we should try to maintain uh, good air around us by planting more trees yes so children rest of the chapter we are going to continue in our next lecture till then thank you bye bye